Hey, what's going on, Guardians? I have a question for you. Does this make sense to you? Well, it will in just a bit. By the end of this video, you'll be one step closer to becoming legend. Hey, what's going on, new Guardians? Mango Sun here with a tutorial video on how to play Destiny 2. And we're going to start right now with the in orbit menu. Now, the in orbit menu has a few functions on it that you can access certain things. So, first, we're going to go over the fire team area located at the top right hand corner of the screen. In the fire team area, you can hit details to access more details for that person to bring up the details menu. If I had more people in my fire team, I would be able to hit the triangle button and inspect them but we're gonna go over that later in the video when we access the roster because everything that we can do in the roster we'll be able to do in the fire team menu right so as you see at the bottom right hand corner of the screen we have access to the menu invite friends and the current number of friends that we have online or we can go ahead and access the director by hitting the open director button located in the middle of the screen or you can hit the touchpad in the middle of your controller that will also give you access to the director. Now, within the director, you can see that all the planets that you have access to are located on here. If you didn't have access to that planet, when you hovered over that planet, it will have a red unable to be accessed because you don't purchase that content, right? So we'll talk about purchasable content later in the video as well. So we're just going to go over for the video sake we're going to stay here on this screen and we're going to go over the destinations menu now this menu like i said has all the planets on it but it also has some sub menus on it such as the vanguard gambit and the crucible within these sections so we also have these gold dots that are on the map the gold dots on the map represent challenges now if we click on a planet that has a gold dot we can then use the map associated with that and that will tell us what challenge is available for that planet so on mercury the sundial activity is the challenge for that planet now if we go down into what the vanguard has we have these two activities here vanguard strikes and the nightfall ordeal as the challenges for this content so, now going into the vanguard the vanguard has strikes nightfalls and heroic story missions right so the heroic story missions are their harder versions of that vanguard strikes are a good avenue to play when you're looking to increase your loot and get some extra glimmer for buying more of those bounties that we'll cover later in the video as far as the nightfall ordeal it does have some different levels different modes that you can select here from adapt to hero the legend of master but as you start leveling up in the game you'll be able to access these more as your power level rises as you collect more loot so now going back to the directory if we use our scale of difficulty as an example of what loot we can get as we play more and more difficult content you can see that the rewards are increased for a more rewarding playstyle for that challenging content now on the right hand side of the screen we have our regular nightfall this is not a match made activity so you will need two other fire team members to be in your group in order to run it efficiently you can run it by yourself, but it's not advised. When it comes to the map section of the directory, when you load a planet's information, you are generated a map on your screen. And this map will have various icons from different colors that detail different things about them. The down arrow circular dots will be the landing areas that you can land at and the blue ones as far as the tower goes 
or if any NPCs in the game have these blue banners on them, that means that they also have challenges that you can complete for weekly or daily gear. If there's an NPC that is pulsing, that means they have something for you. If that NPC happens to have a pulsing sign with four golden lines, that means that you've completed a challenge that they've required of you for that week. Now, as for New Light players, you can come over here to Amanda Holiday, and she'll have the three campaign quests that you can pick up for the Red War, the Osiris DLC, and the Warmind DLC. So now the quest menu can be a little bit more difficult to navigate. You have these numbers up here, you have these numbers down here, and then you have the bounties on the right hand side of the screen, and you have quests on the left hand side of the screen. Okay, so as a new player, you're going to have a lot more quests and you're going to have a ton of bounties. So you're going to have an overwhelming amount of bounties and an overwhelming amount of quests. But what we need to establish is grind with a purpose. So breaking down this menu just a little bit more, the quests and bounties, even though they're on separate sides of the screen, in separate organized spots they do share the same overall accumulative total to what you can have which is a total of 63 so with me having 14 quests on this and then having another 13 quests over here along with having the 21 bounties that gives me my total of 48 and so we don't want to have quests that we don't need and we don't want to have bounties that we aren't chasing after. So the quest portion and the bounty portion of this video will be explained later in a more detailed video on using quests and using bounties and having the intentional grind you're looking for while not being overwhelmed with stuff to do in the game because there's so many things to do in the game and everybody and everything from everywhere is going to be like go do this but you need grind with a focus and we're going to explain that in a later video now the eververse store the eververse store is a place where people get it a bit twisted now many people say oh well the Eververse store has in there items that should be earnable in game. But a store is a store and a store is meant to sell things. So I'll use an example. If we were to go into a convenience store and we wanted a water, just because we walked into the store thirsty for water doesn't mean that we're going to be rewarded with water without giving a cost for that water. So, if you want things out of a store, you have to purchase it. So, this functions in the same way. If you want to go out there and you want to look cool, right? If you want to do things like all the other cool kids are doing, you're going to have to pay for it. And you can argue that, well, it's a game. I should be able to earn it. Well, it's also a game that has a store. So... You have 110% your own free will of not coming into the store at all. You don't have to purchase anything in this store. Anything purchased in this store can be refunded to you. If you don't want it, you don't have to keep it as long as you follow the guidelines on the return policy for those. As stated, the refund available for this is in the next six days and seven hours or until open so if i open it i own it but if i hold the refund button it'll give me my money back so i'll go ahead and show you that right now let's see face palm or distract it i'm gonna give the face palm back we're gonna refund it right and it'll give me my silver back now, 
once I open it, it's all mine. And if you decide to purchase something from the store, depending on how many items are part of that package, it will come to you in a bundle. As such, the roster area of the directory shows you all the friends that you have that are online, all the friends that are online that aren't playing Destiny, all the friends that are online that are in your clan, and all the friends that are in your current fire team. Now, you can, like I said before, inspect them by hitting the triangle button to see what gear that they're running, what subclass, what weapon, and so on and so forth. Or you can also hit the details menu and invite them to your fire team, join their current fire team, inspect the player from this menu, view their PlayStation profile, and inspect their clan or invite them to your current clan. Now, if that player seems a bit sketchy or they're away from their controller at that time, you can report them for being AFK, which is an acronym from the PC community as away from keyboard, but we also use it here for away from controller. So you can report players that are just hanging out not doing anything because the game is played better together. The seasons portion of the directory goes over your seasonal rank. It also tells you how many days are left in the current season. So right now, as of a recording of this video, the season will end in 29 days and 13 hours. The season is broken into two different types of season passes. The top is a free track. The free track offers a lot of things earlier in the free track, around 40 levels or so. Anything after those 40 levels gets kind of scarce. But below that is the paid track, which you can pay 10 bucks for a la carte if you don't own the encompassing season pass for the next few seasons, which there are, I think, four for the year. That we already had Season of Undying, so Season of Dawn, Season of Redacted, Season of Redacted. Season of Worthy is the next one. And below that, you'll see the season pass bonuses. Hovering over them will show you what bonuses are active at this time. And if mine weren't currently maxed out, they will also show you which ones that are next. But as always, all good things must come to an end. So if you have any questions about anything that I went over in the current video, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. And I'll be glad to get back and answer any questions to the best of my ability to you guys. And I just want to say exploring Destiny 2 isn't an easy task, but it can be fun. Just sometimes we all need a guide. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.